Yeah, thank you. Right now on the now, Kansas City firefighters say Sunday's fire at the Cloverleaf Apartments was electrical. Yeah, tenants in that fire we spoke with say electrical issues in the complex often went unresolved. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live at the apartments with what else residents are telling us. Yeah, Krista, they say they haven't heard from the owners of that building that you see right there behind me, heavily damaged from the fire. They haven't heard on what to do next, but the Red Cross and the community are stepping in to help because, as you can see, the building is boarded up, which means people who lived here cannot go back in and try to get any of their belongings that they left behind in that rush to get out and get to safety. And again, nearly 50 people are displaced by this fire. Five families spent the night in a shelter set up by the Red Cross. And I talked with one grandmother today who was babysitting her two and three year old grandchildren when the fire started. Okay. What, did, what did she have to leave behind? Everything. All the clothes, furniture, I mean, food, you know, everything. And the Red Cross tells me today that they can use the public's help in getting some of those clothes, getting those donations to help those kids get some of those clothes back. And also, you mentioned those electrical issues at the start of uh, your toss to me, and we were trying to track down the owners of this apartment complex to get some answers to those unresolved issues ourselves. It wasn't easy. That story tonight at 5 on 41 Action News. For now, reporting for the Now KC, I'm Brian Abel.